Uh, just quit for a moment. Okay. Ah. This is shareware, by the way. Okay, a while back, I played an RPG called Espetra, and uh, it was a strange experience. And I was reminded recently that it had the same uh, author made a previous game called The Endless Night. Ooh, it's changed my DOS font <laughs> color. That's funny. So I'm going to play it tonight. Under Listar. I can make people think there's something they don't know that I do. Power move. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so the endless night, or Espetra Zero, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna find out what it's like. <laughs> Mythic art software presents. Oh, it was doing this before. Uh, it seems to like just hang sometimes when I start it up. This might take me. Two or three tries? I don't know. No. This game might be slightly cursed. What if I turn down the cycles when I start it? No. It was working some of the time before. <laughs> the other thing is, uh, you can find this on the Internet Archive. Let's see what happens if I don't press a key. No. Oh, this might not. This might not happen. It should. I got it to work like five times minutes ago, so. I uh, should be able to fix this in a moment, but um, you can get the this game here uh, if you want to try it for yourself. Uh, the only thing I recommend is there is a night.sav file, which is read-only in that archive, and if you leave it as read-only, the saving will crash when you... or it won't crash, but it'll fail, and then it'll exit the game because it failed. Ah, uh, still doing this. And uh, that will make it so you can't save the game. What happens if I turn the cycles way down when I start it? Ah, it's going, it's running. This is actually pretty cool opening screen. I like that that fade in the background. The Endless Night by Andy Wood, 1993. All right, so there's a story which I'm supposed to read first. There's how to order. I want to look at how to order. Future cuffs. <laughs> Thank you for trying the Endless Night. So this was Andy Wood's first game, I guess. Mythic art became zonerware for Espetra. High quality VGA graphics, of course. Originally CGA. Ooh, this could have been CGA. The second part will be much better. We'll get future versions of the game, customer support, maps and hints. Notification of the second half. The <laughs> screen is just so full of text. It's, I like this. Uh, also, two spaces after periods. I uh, picked up that typewriter habit. 
We'll have no choice but to continue. There will be a second part. I guess there was. Andy Wood lived up to the promise. Did I call this a prequel? I, I don't know. Well, yeah, it was made before it, so... I don't know. I think is that still a prequel? It's not what you'd usually call a prequel, but... Uh... Whether we are able to create, continue creating great games is up to us. Oh, great! Print out this form and mail ten dollars to this address and trust that we'll send you something. That was an interesting concept. I don't think I never registered any shareware back at the time when this was a thing. Uh, partly because I lived in Canada and I wasn't going to, like, mail cash. I wasn't going to, like, find U.S. money and then mail it across the border and hope you get something back. I did some mail ordering, but it, it was always a, a hairy proposition. Only 3.5-inch discs are available. Well... Um, okay, so here's the story. There is no story. Well, that's easy. I have no memory. You're in a cave. It's, it's completely dark. There's not even moonlight. Uh, arrow keys? Oh. The only controls are four arrow keys. And then there's more commands. Uh, enter to continue, Q to exit, H to bring us back here, and S to save. Okay. You should try and find the town as soon as possible. This is not very easy, so you'd better map your way. If you don't map, you may up one, end up walking in circles. Once you find the town, you'll get a lantern. The game is much easier when you can see. I can bet. Uh, okay, so I have a vague idea of where the town is, because uh, I was I was uh, talking with Foxandra, who played it earlier, and made a little map of the dark part. Come to my senses. It is very dark. You get up and walk around. All right, so here I am in the complete darkness. So, oh, so here I think I want to turn up the cycles back to where I had it before. So you walk faster if you turn them up. One press starts you walking. If you press again, it stops you walking. So that's kind of like, uh, that reminds me of like the Sierra games. So, okay. I think that's the cave that I'm in. This feels like... Wow, I can't see anything. Okay, so I'm out of the cave. This is an up and down labyrinth, of course. I'm like four screens up now. Oh. This is getting a little bit savage. Still seems kind of doable. So I know the town is somewhere to the west. Okay, I think I've reached kind of more open areas. At least I'm bumping into less things now. I think.
and I vaguely know I need to go left. This feels like... I think this is the beach. Okay. Hmm. How do I get left? Oh! Go a little more left now. Now I'm scared I've gone too far. The trail is only for merchants. By the way, a certain merchant owned a tired old nag, which he became impatient with. I believe he left the horse in those bushes to the east. That'd be great if I could see anything. Branch? Okay, I just picked up a branch from a tree. I think I went too far... <laughs> I think I've gone too far to the west. Oh, 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 this is definitely beach. Okay. Invisible mazes aren't uh, the greatest gameplay in the world. Oh hey, there's a, a horse. Somehow the horse has light. I bet it's in like a... I don't want to... <sighs> okay. Um... I have seen a map. I want to take a glance at it. Because... <laughs> this is a bit... Uh, a bit much? Okay, let's see. Four screens up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left and then one down. Okay, so it's one west of the beach and then two up. That I can probably do. Okay. So I'm already cheating because I've had enough of wandering in the dark. Working backwards with a config I s where this started. UMB support? Hmm. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to get this game running? And you were having like the same problem as I was where it would hang on the on the first screen. Okay, so here's the beach. Once I know the, where the beach is, one left and two up. Is 
Is it? Is this... This can't be it. This feels like a solid box. Okay. <laughs> so that's the first portion of this game. You wander until you find this. Bumping into a lot of things in the dark. Do you know what time it is? It's 12 o'clock midnight? No, it's noon. Well, that's helpful. Some time ago, the sun set for the last time. The land has been lost in an endless night ever since. So, that's interesting that, that uh, I figure what UMB is, it's like a high memory uh, management driver for DOS. I don't know, I just found it hung sometimes <laughs> when I started up. It seemed to hang more when I had the cycles higher and less when I had it lower. Uh, oh, I see, I'm walking to the right. How does this darkness come upon us? How did you find your way here in the dark? Uh, I used a map. Where's the sun gone? The plants still grow, yet it's always nighttime. That's interesting. Keep the lantern. Oh, what was us? I'm wondering if this was. There's an Edgar Allan Poe story. The Valley of the Blind, I think it's called. Where a man who can see ends up in a valley of only blind people who work at night. We're prisoners in our own town. I'm too miserable to talk to anybody. Money, then get out. Well, okay. I can't go south from here. That's interesting because it looks like it's open. I can go. Those cactuses are interesting. Wow. Okay, so here's the beach. Let's see if I can work my way back to where I started. Okay, so that room looks like nothing. Did you ever need a boat? I'll be glad to lend you mine. Not caught anything for a week. Mary plant. You'll lend me the Mary plant. Okay, so I don't think I came down this far. Ooh, there's an arrow. <laughs> Question mark with another arrow. How useful. More arrows. I lost my goat, and I miss him dearly. Okay. Those look like sheep. Right. F. Uh. Wow, these are all kind of weirdly terrible. It's 
There's like edges to the map that you can't see as well. Oh, okay. This... What is this? Is this a ship? Like a sunken ship? Is that what this is? It... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I would say like I don't subscribe to the two spaces after a period thing because I think that's a, a typesetting problem, um, which only on a typewriter are you a typesetter. Otherwise, your word processor should insert spaces that are appropriate after a period. But maybe in monospace fonts I can see the justification for it, even though I wouldn't care. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely taught. This is a strange place. Okay, well... These clicky noises... a bit, uh... weird. Might turn the sound down just a little bit in my monitor. No style guide recommends it. Well... Yeah, like, I, I think it can only possibly apply to a typewriter. Because that's the only case where you're also the typesetter, but otherwise you're... I don't know. I don't see the point. It's just extra spaces for no reason. Okay, so I guess I'll keep exploring the southern side of this map. I like the gradual fade of... doesn't seem like I can go through the bottom here. Oh! Oh! It's money! Or somebody who likes money so much they will build dollar signs out of rocks. Looks like a hole in the world. Oh, where am I going? More labyrinth! Uh, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I drive the stick through the fruit and carry it. Oh. I guess that's the stick I broke off the tree when I was wandering around in the darkness. Well, that'll be handy. I guess I accidentally uh, figured out how to pick up that plant. What's this? Oh. Well, there's a plant here. Why do I need the same plant over here? Now, who needed the plant? Somebody needed the plant. But, uh, I was saying, like, the way you walk and then stop, it reminded me of Sierra games. It was reminding me specifically of Mixed Up Mother Goose, and this game is starting to remind me of that quite a bit. Because a bunch of people have, like, asked me for stuff. Okay, who wanted the plant? Was it someone in town? I think it was. Who's this? Okay, I have a glove now. I wish I could see my inventory. So I know I have a glove. I used the stick to get the plant. Go this way? Okay. Okay. Well, when I have money, I can come back to town and buy a weapon, I guess. Where did I see that donkey? Or horse, or whatever it was. Okay, 
this is now familiar again. Wait, did I go down here? Oh, that is weird. You can go <laughs> one specific tile through the wall. Hmm. It is too cold. You'd better descend immediately. What happens if I don't? Huh? The cold is unbearable. I collapse into the snow, unconscious, and stay there. Well. Right. Does that say something? Err! <laughs> Very nice. Okay. In there. How did I get to that donkey before? Oh, now I remember. I went past the town. That's the town. So I went... Yeah, I went further west, didn't I? This is a curious maze. This game is. Okay, mountains to the north. It's time! Ah, it's here! Sorry, the, the upside down time. So this... Um, this map was basically in Espetra, and it has no monsters, and you just wander around, and there's all these mazes, and it's so... it was so perplexing. I was very confused as to why that section of the game existed. Uh, it was so unlike everything else in the game, and... Uh, this completely explains it because Spetra is the Endless Night 2. There's actually an unused title screen. I was digging, I've been kind of reverse engineering the data. Uh, oh, it's goat. We depend on his milk and cheese. Okay, needs another way to get to town. And then I can have the goat, and then I can give the goat to somebody who needs the goat. Who can give me wool. Who will get me into the mountains, I guess? Anyhow, uh, so I've been digging through the data files of Espetra, and I found an unused title screen variant, which is called The Endless Night 2. Uh, oh, it even had the AW for Andy Wood. This game's off here. Ooh. Okay, I was here before. Yeah, it felt like a spiral. Take the horse by the reins and lead him around with you. So I've got a glove, I don't know what it's for, and a horse. I don't know who needs a horse. Oh, wait! That guy who wanted an alternate way to get to town probably could use a horse. Bless me, you brought me a horse. Well, sir, you just go right ahead and take the goat. You found it hilarious when blocks would spell Tim? The blocks spell Tim? Oh! Because Tim Sweeney wrote on, uh, worked on that game? Jill the Jungle? Or if he didn't work on it, he probably was involved in oversight. Oh, 
to go right ahead and take the goat. You can take that bothersome goat. He only eats my flowers and soils and grass. So, back to town. Farmer somewhere, or a shepherd, sheep farmer, down to the south. No, this is the okay. No, they need a boat. Or no, they have a boat. What do they need? Wait, didn't I get a plant? Oh, I gave the plant to that other merchant who I hadn't talked to before, so I don't know what they wanted that was different from what I <laughs> gave them. Maybe the poisonous one is the merry plant, I don't know. The fact that you can, like, accidentally solve quests in the dark kind of throws a wrench into some things, because, like, okay, here we go. It's my goat! Thank heavens. Wool cloak! Good day, stranger. Alright. Hey, it's goat. Check out that goat. Oh, right, I'm just walking around up here with impunity now. I like this face. Good face. I think I better save. This is one monster you can't kill with your bare hands. You'd better come back with some type of arms. Oh, it doesn't kill me like the the plant did. So I'm missing something then. Uh Okay, so that one person needs one merchant needs money, the weapon merchant needs money. Um, the boatman needs a plant, but the plant is poisonous, so I can't pick it up. The weapon should let me kill that. Hey, it's wet! <laughs> Um, so is there any secret to this? Can I somehow get money from the money screen? I don't know. Okay, so this is where I found the plant before.
I just realized I was given a glove in exchange for the fruit, which might be what I needed to pick up the other plant that looked the same as that plant, but I don't know why I was just able to pick up the fruit a second time. That kind of disturbs me. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, this the the walking noise pitter patter is really it's really getting to me. Okay, let's see what happens. Using the special glove, you uproot the plant. There we go. But that plant looked the same as the fruit that I picked, didn't it? Oh man, getting out of that room is weird. Because it's just one of these. Well, I am soon going to go for a boat ride. How's my boat? It is wet, I guess? Can I not go south from here? That's a little odd. Wet. Okay, well that was not immediately useful. There was that pirate ship, or sunken ship. Hey, it's time, National Fun Post Agency. Or rather, it's upside down time, is that what you're... You're, uh, noticing? I'm not quite sure the significance of it. Check out this F, though. It's a pretty good F. Uh, oh yeah. Getting across this screen is so weird. Okay, so I can sail into that, but... What am I doing here? What is this? Hidden treasure! Alright, I found some treasure. Which means I can buy this sword or whatever. Is it midnight? No, it's noon. That, that, that's an interesting interpretation. <coughs> Pardon me, I had to cough. Um... Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, that's right, I... There was one more thing I wanted to check. So I'm probably rounding on the end of this game pretty soon, but... Aha! Okay. This is where I came in. I was wondering how to find my way back. There we go. I felt like I hit a dead end there before, but no, I just hadn't checked every square. So this was the very start of the game. And the funny thing is, like, when you can see these, they're just pointless. And that's what they're like in Espetra. Like, you just see this, this labyrinth. Okay, here's the cave. This is the cave. This is where it all started. Uh, so in Espetra, you can find this cave, you can find this maze, but, like, walking through it... 
like it does exactly what it's doing now. You just walk through it. Nothing happens. And it kind of makes sense as a finding your way in the dark. Like a path like this. This sort of works as something you can get through. Uh, this doesn't. <laughs> like, once they get more random, but for finding your way in the dark, like, this felt okay. I did make it through this without too much trouble. And it was a little bit of fun getting through that. Getting to the town, the town should be, like, right here. That's... I don't know why this game does that to you, like, makes you wander for so long. And I don't know where the tree is that I... Like, I picked up a branch from a tree somewhere. I have no idea where that tree is, or what it looked like, and I wish I did. Okay, so... There's the face, there's the Xerox X. Uh, the A points to town. Okay. And over here is the weapon merchant. A sword. The best sword that you can get for that amount of money. That unspecified amount of money. A pocket full of treasure I found next to... Uh, a ship. Yeah, I guess it's the only thing to do. Murdering... <laughs> you bravely fell the helpless monster. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now what? This is a weird path. Oh, okay. So I can go above if I want. Let's go below first. Oh, I can just walk through it. This is the time we're having speed control. Uh, might help a lot. <laughs> this seems really... <laughs> oh, I can't imagine playing the whole game like this, though. So I think this speed, uh, this seems, this is, right now it's at 3600 cycles, which I think is, like, just above a 286. Roughly. DOS box cycles are kind of a really hokey figure, but um, oh, 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 it's a wizard. Okay, turn it back up to like 10,000. The wizard looks like a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, or whatever it is, the baby wrapped in a blanket. Oh, with a wizard hat. Who are you? My timepiece guy reads. Oh, you're right. But why is it so dark? It must have been a dream. It was all a dream. Oh, it's a beard. Is that what it is? Could be. Could be. 
Why would I do such a wicked thing? I remember everything. I shudder to think what would happen if it were not for you. I had to murder a yeti to do this. LD Rude! It's LD Rude! So LD Rude is the unseen... Um, someone who transports you to the beginning of Espetra with no memory. One day I was visited by a strange person. I became immortal. Hmm. He commanded me to hide the light of the sun, and I performed the task as best I knew how. He rendered me unconscious. If not for you, I might have slept forever. In this land, I might have remained permanently dark. What is your name? What do you mean, I don't know? You woke up in the cave with no memory. That's strange. How coincidental. I suspect that my strange visitor has not yet finished with his plans. If you wish to learn who you are and why you are here, I believe you must follow the visitor. The answers may lie with him. You agree? Excellent. I will consult my looking glass to discover the stranger's whereabouts. If you're quite ready, I will send you there. Goodness me, I nearly forgot to restore the sunlight. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wide font. Cheered by the townspeople below, you ride off into the distance on a cloud provided by Eldirut. I'll show you the beginning of es Espetra in a moment uh, to see what that means. You're happy for the people who have regained their sunlight, but you are very confused. How can you live your life or expect to have a future if you do not even know who you are? You must discover your origin and identity. You must learn who the mysterious visitor was. You must continue your adventure. Register now! And you will be notified of the arrival of The Endless Night 2. Available only from Mythic Art Software. Please select ordering info at the main menu for details. Thank you for playing The Endless Night. And please register! Alright. Uh, so that's the end of... The Endless Night. Which leads directly into this game. Not by Mythic Arts, by Zonerware, which is the same, but here we are. So, at the top of a mountain in a distant part of the world, a small cloud appeared. And a young man stepped off. And the sound looks like it's too quiet. I'll turn it up a little bit. We've seen you fly here on a cloud. Who are you? Where'd you come from? How did you do that? First, tell me where you, well, you, whether you are friend or foe, or else I'll tell you nothing. We serve for order. Now answer the questions so that perhaps we can assist you. Very well, I come from a distant land. A mage by the name of Eldirud sent me here. You mean Reth Eldirud? He called himself only Eldirud. We think we are fools. Oh no. Breath means immortal. Well, we did know he was immortal from the uh, previous thing. Um, 
Well, they're off to defend their camp, but, uh... All the immortals you meet in this game are pretty greedy. I forget if you even meet, meet Eldirud again in this game. You probably do. Rommel, a hunter from the town of Bek Alam. What is this mountain? Confuses me even more. Well. He may have deceived me. <laughs> Here's where you get to choose a name, but I'm, I'm not going to play this tonight. I'm just showing how this dovetails directly in from the Endless Night. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh they call me hello. Very well, hello. Now this game goes quite a while before it gives you control. Oh that looks loud. I think fart face would have would have fit. Eight letters. Hmm. Man, I did not remember how long this, like, first scene was. Like, you do not get control for a while. Here we go. Nope. Still no. My big disappointment was that, uh, you... You don't get to see yourself flying in a, on a cloud. I think that really deserved a visual instead of just a description. Well, I do have the sword from before. That explains where that came from. Be forever grateful to you. The funny thing is, uh, in the game files, the sprites are named Oliver. Though his his real name is actually revealed later on, and it's not Oliver, but that's that's the name of the sprite file. Take my pack. I'll leave immediately. All right, so that's how long it takes to get control from the game. I just wanted to see. Okay, so he's got the cheap sword. That explains why it's cheap. Because you bought the cheapest sword at the weapon shop. When you go back from the menu, it, it goes back to the first option. That's weird. Um, no items. Status. Alright, so that's... That's how Espetra begins, and that's how... The Endless Night connected right into it. So, in the middle of this game, you discover the whole... that Endless Night area. It's become dark again, uh, but not so dark that you can't see anything. It's just, like, half dark. And, uh, here, I'll just do one battle. Against these run -amucks. 
Yes, all the interiors of the houses are uh, on like one big map, so you can you tend to see other rooms around. Battle is always against one type of enemy times one to five. Just kind of randomly. Oh no! Hello! Perished. Anyhow, that is, uh, that's a Spectra. Uh, I want to do something just to show you the, uh, the connection a little more. Um, there's a file, old op BLD, new op, uh, I forget the name, hang on a second. Um, Spetra F Opsker. F Opsker. So F Opsker is like final opening screen, I think. Um, and Just trying this out. This should replace the title screen with the original title screen. If I'm correct. I don't know why the music has gone different. That's weird. But. That's really strange, but that's really throwing me off. This is the original title screen, I guess. It's just hanging around in the game files. There's no way to see this otherwise. Uh, but it was very much a sequel to The Endless Night. The the broken music, I don't know what caused that. I don't I don't think changing the two file names should do that, but anyhow. I just wanted to show that. Uh, so that was The Endless Night and the start of Espetra. I have a complete playthrough of Espetra if you want to see that. Uh, the, the Endless Night part of it is kind of halfway through. I think it's in part five, maybe part six of my playthrough. But uh, yeah. So that was interesting to see after, after playing Espetra, like just finding out what happened right before. I'm going to have to watch that chapter and, and see how the events of it kind of correlate. Because you do meet Eldarud again, and you do meet the people of the town who get enslaved. There's a whole thing. And like the, the snowy mountains up there still, and, and all the weird stuff, like the upside down time on the ground, and I don't know. Anyway, uh, have a good night everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do something else. See you later.